I'm going to show you how you can take this and build it into this. So first thing we want to do is we're going to select all of our data here, go to insert, go to pivot table, existing worksheet, then select an existing worksheet, click on OK. And then we're going to add our category, department, date in the column section, staff in filters and year in values, just like that. And then we're going to select our pivot table, go to pivot table analysis, go to insert slicer and select the items that you want to be able to filter on. Next, we're going to cut that and we're going to pop it onto the first sheet, just like that. And we're also going to go to pivot table analysis and go to insert timeline. Click on date, click on OK. And then control X that and control V it to get it onto here, just like that. So then we're going to place that just up here with the rest. And then we're going to go ahead and insert a shape just like this. And they're going to move that behind just like that and next we're going to go to insert whilst clicking onto our pivot table and pivot chart then we're going to select the first chart here and we're going to control x that and stick that on this front sheet just like that so we're going to make this a little bit bigger okay and then we're going to add on another shape by copying and pasting that one and then going to move that to the back make sure that this fits Okay, next thing we're going to do is go to design, go to quick layout, and then select a layout that you like. Next we're going to hide this data that we've got below, so I'm just going to remove all previous formats on there, and then I'm going to select this and then go to group, and group all of that together so that you can't see it, just like that. And next we're going to tidy this up a little bit. So we're going to go to view, on select grid lines, and then we're going to change the colour of this by right clicking. Go to style and select in this first one here and again right click go to style select the first one just like that now what this report will do is if we now select any of these categories just up here it's then going to change the data that's being shown so that we can see that in a little bit more detail and if we just want to click off that we can click on these items here and we can also select the date that we want to see so if we only want to see january through to june for instance we can see that data quite clearly or we can move that along at any time. So there you go, follow for more.